what's going on this is jada black i'm back with a uh, another video make sure you like the facebook page i'm i'm already at 500 likes but i'm trying to get to a thousand so let's get to a thousand likes on the facebook page jdb on official and shout out to the people who have been sending me things to do videos on most of it i've done i think i've done videos on but there's some things that people are sending me on facebook I'm going to get to that stuff, but there's just some other things that I want to get uh, uploaded first, but I will get to those too as well. So also, if you want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description box. Make sure you go and do that. And uh, let me get to the uh, topic of this video, because this is going to be the third video that I do about 50 cents and sort of what black men can learn from 50 cent because here's a prime example of choosing the wrong baby mother you know also being emotional at times and doing things off of emotion sort of being a, a media persona and you having to sort of carry that persona every day because that that's what you become you go from being an artist to being a, a boss man to you know being sort of like a social media guy because i remember when 50 cent first uh, came out well he first debuted i don't say came out when he first debuted on hip hop, I think it was well, it was 2003. I don't know why I keep saying I think, but it was 2003 when I remember it. But even though he had a career prior to that, because he had a song called "How to Rob," and I, mean, I used to play that, I used to play that song on repeat <laughs> when he was dissing a lot of rappers, and people say that may have led to him, I think, being stabbed and also being shot. That particular song. That song, I think, was made in 1999 or 2000, between that time. But he debuted on Shady Aftermath in 2003. I thought he was probably one of the coolest artists ever because he had his own style. He, he was different from a lot of the rappers at the time. Because rap, people may not notice, but rap wasn't as hardcore. Rap was more about bling bling. It was more about, you know, the South had basically taken over the rap game. Um, you had artists out of Atlanta. You had Nelly. You had artists in Texas. You know, rap was basically being ran from artists in the South around around that time. You had Outkast, who was big. So 50 Cent at the time was one of the few rappers from New York to really make a headway in hip-hop and at the time i remember it was him it was fabulous it was Dipset. It, i mean it was jay but jay had retired in 2003 a lot of people i know he retired in 2003 so the rap game was carried by a few in new york new jersey area but mostly Rap music was made by the Cash Money, Lil Wayne, Juvenile, um, Ludacris. Uh, who else? I might be forgetting somebody. I think Jeezy was also becoming big right around the 2003, 2004 um, time. Because I remember I was in, uh, let me see, 2003. Yeah, I was about, what, about 14, 15? And. I would hear at school and in my neighborhood, people would talk about Young Jeezy, Young Jeezy, Young Jeezy. Well, anyway, and Gucci Man as well. But anyway, 50 Cent came into the rap game and changed it. He was the gangster rapper, shot nine times. The G-Unit clothing, the G-Unit group, how they would shoot their videos. He just brought something different to hip hop that hadn't been there, you know. And from there on, he carried his persona from music to movies to now you see it on social media. And I think it has a lot to do with why his beefs go as far as they do. Because one of the first major beefs he had was with Rick Ross. 
when he put his uh, baby mom on blast for the sex tape that Rick Ross and his baby mother did. <laughs> and he also brought one of his other baby mamas to New York to do an interview to basically trash Rick Ross. That was one of the worst things I had ever heard because it was on a serious satellite radio because at the time I had direct TV and they had serious satellite, uh, serious satellite radio shows because they had a station called Shade 45. I think it was Eminem's um, serious satellite radio station. And and that's where they would post a lot of their shows. And I remember hearing, I was like, damn, he really went there. <laughs> so 50 Cent, for the most part, is known to be a bit of a bully when it comes to beefs and the music industry when it comes to social media and going at certain people. And that's why he goes as far as he does. And no one beefs like 50 Cent, even if he's against his baby's mother. Because I think that when you have an audience of people um, gassing you up to continue to do more and to do more and to go elaborate and drop documents, just like what you're seeing now with him and his baby mother, that, you know, he's dropping documents, she's dropping documents, and it's like, this shit is going way left. I absolutely, absolutely agreed with him refusing to pay any kind of mortgage to upkeep the lifestyle of a woman who needs a job, who needs a degree. She needs something to get her own income. After 18, 19 years, you're still trying to get money from a guy you now want to call a domestic violence abuser. You want to call him an abusive guy even though you're still going to court trying to get more child support from him. Because I've been looking at some some news articles and they were talking about how, let's see, she wants to call him a domestic violence abuser as if she's a domestic violence advocate. See, the whole thing started with him and her going back and forth with each other when she posted a photo of a 11 year old boy that he's mentoring. She felt the need to make fun of him for wearing red bottom sneakers to school. She did that. He didn't start with her. She started with him, I guess, because. She's upset because she doesn't feel like 50 Cent is doing enough for her son, even though her son has said shit about his own father. And he's mentoring boys to hopefully um, not deal with women like her. So she wants to put this boy on blast. And so 50 Cent comes back and he talks about how he wouldn't care if she got hit by a bus. And then you have the son that the mother is basically turned against his father commenting on it. And it's just a very messy situation. And this is why you don't get in relationships with petty women. You see, Fifty Cent has had issues with his second baby mother, but you don't see her dropping documents. You don't see her making fun of the kids he mentors because she's not built like that. But this Shaniqua, is the typical female that a lot of these brothers impregnate when they're younger and when they get older they realize they made a huge mistake see she's the type of female that you should at all costs avoid because she's the type of woman to ruin your life she's the type of woman to run back and forth to child support seeking more money even though she needs to get a job She's the type of woman who will live on Section 8 and go to college and then talk about how she's educated. How she has advanced degrees, even though she's living on government assistance. She's that type of woman. Petty. 
how are you any better than fifth if you're dropping documents? You're no better than him. You're not coming out of this looking better. You don't have a ring on your finger. No man has wiped you up yet. Made you his wife because you're a petty bitch. And, and I want a lot of you men to see this. 50 Cent, I think the reason why he hasn't dated a lot of black women like Shaniqua, because he realized he made a mistake. He made a mistake, put, you know, having a child with this woman. And that's why he hasn't dated a woman like her since. See, one of the things you can learn from Fifth is, as I just mentioned, when you gain success, you need to make sure that you don't deal with women like this. If you haven't dealt with women like her before, don't deal with women, her like, women like her after that. Because some of the biggest groupies are these Shaniquas. Even though she was with 50 um, before he got successful, he was still rapping. He, was, uh, he used to slang dope. So, even if you're not slanging dope, even if you're not thugging, if you're just an average guy working a, a good, decent job, you're educated, you're successful, you have no children, you need to avoid women like Shaniqua. 50 Cent realized it, but he realized it after his son was born. You don't deal with women like this, petty women who can't let shit go. If this woman was such a catch, a man would have her living in his house with a ring on her finger. But you don't see that. And that's because for the most part, men, successful men, don't want women like her. They will sleep with women like her, but they won't be in relationships with women like her. And this is why she's on social media being so petty because she realizes the child support gravy train is over. The house is gone. She has nothing else. Nothing else. Now she's going to be as petty as she can be. And also, is regarding 50 Cent and his oldest son. The fact that his oldest son doesn't see what's going on, you can see why he treats him the way he treats him. Because at some point, as a man, as a young man, you got to see that your mama ain't shit either. If you think your daddy ain't shit, your mama ain't shit either. Because she's getting on social media, dropping documents, making fun of young kids. You can't condone that. You can't make excuses for that. See, we as black men, we grew up in households where we don't, the mother is never held accountable. It's always somebody else's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. It's never her fault. Well, what do you say about somebody who's making fun of children who have never said anything about her out of the blue? just to get a reaction out of 50. What does that tell you? When 50 has clowned, not clowned, when he has said things about her on social media, he hasn't made fun of her uh, family, friends, any, any other people, relatives in her family. He's only said things about her. But for her to reach so low to make fun of 11-year-old kid who has said nothing about her just shows the type of woman she is. She's disgusting, and this is the type of woman you don't deal with. I know we deal with women like her in our neighborhoods because that's all that's there. There's a neighborhoods full of Shaniquas all across America. But you also need to avoid those hood rats. Don't get those hood rats pregnant because they are a lost cause. They do nothing but destroy families they're petty and they seek out drama and there's nothing good from coming from being in a relationship with them <laughs>